right? I had this idea of what if I put a man and a woman in a plane that weren't married and didn't really know each other and land them in some brutally awful, hard, cold place. Um, how could I show that this man loved one woman? To what extent could I show that? And uh, could I write a love story that took place in that environment but showed the depth and the extent to which he loved her by the the extent to which they had to crawl out of this place. So that was on my mind. I presented it to my editor and she said, yeah, you can write it and I'll take a look at it. So we made plane tickets and I flew to the high, high Uintas. And here we are about nine years later. So what's it look like for a man to really love a woman? And what, like how do, how do you show that? I mean, it's not just a Valentine's Day card. It's, there's something that's gotta show it. You gotta walk that out. So as a husband and a father and a writer trying to pen a novel, what was at my core was pinning something that showed that a, a man could really love a woman on a level that was just a, a good bit deeper than just Valentine's Day or roses or like, what's it really look like? How do you walk that out? And then when you add in the details of the book itself, I think it, there's some complexity and some layeredness there. That's what I was wrestling with. And I'll be curious to see how the film plays that out. She's quite capable of rescuing herself. She's good at that. She spent her whole life doing that. The events that occur in the hours following them boarding this private plane change that. She's very much in need of rescue. But they're stuck together. So it, it, it becomes, a, they're, they're very much rescuing each other towards the end. Uh, she's strong enough to do that. She doesn't melt, doesn't collapse. There are places in which she wants to quit. I mean, I think that we all would. But she's strong enough not to. I think she's, a, she's one of my favorite female characters. So just the sheer awesome, rugged nastiness of the place. Um, and from what I understand in the sets that they've, I mean, helicoptering people and equipment and people and the dog and It'll be awesome. So I, I think that the scenery itself lends itself. They were talking about they developed a new lens just to film this. So I can't wait to see that. I think at its core, at least for me, uh, I think what it shows is the depth to which a man can love a woman and what that really looks like and the ache that can accompany that and the joy and the celebration but what it looks like when it's walked out. Like, not just, hey, I love you, honey, but what does, hey, I love you, honey, look like? Like, day to day. I think from what I've seen, not only do my readers get that from my novel, but I think they're gonna get that in the movie, which is really cool for me. I mean, that's my, that's my hope. That's, that's what I hope they, love is worth, love wins, it's worth fighting for. It's um, Ben's a little different because he's really strong uh, in terms of being a, a surgeon or a doctor. Um, and in an operating environment, doctors are like God. They say, like, give me this. And the nurses don't argue and say, well, are you sure you want a scalpel? I mean, he's, so he's used to being in charge and being in command, but in an environment where he's given that authority. See what happens to him when he crashes at 12,000 feet and nobody knows where he is. That'll be fun to watch.